So in this lab, we need to configure VTP or VLAN trunking protocol so that VLANs can be added to switch one and switch two, but not to switch three. Switch two should not synchronize its VLAN database with other switches. So that means that switch two needs to be configured as a transparent switch. If you wanna be able to add VLANs to a switch, but not synchronize VLANs with other switches, the VTP mode needs to be transparent. First thing I'm gonna do is set the domain. We've been told to use a domain of CCNA. So VTP domain CCNA, a VTP mode will be transparent. So show VTP status. This switch is configured with this domain. It's configured as a transparent switch. Switch one needs to be configured as a VTP server because we need to be able to add VLANs to the switch and it needs to synchronize its VLANs to switch three. So on switch one, I'll give the switch a name. So switch one, a VTP domain is gonna be CCNA again, a VTP mode is gonna be server. That is the default, so we don't have to configure that. Show VTP status. We can see that the domain is set to CCNA. The mode is server. So that looks good. We've been told that we should configure switch three so that VLANs cannot be added to the switch. That means it needs to be configured as a VTP client. So host name will be switch three. VTP domain is CCNA. VTP mode is gonna be client. Show VTP status. We can see that the domain is CCNA. We can see that the mode is client. So that looks good. Now are VLANs actually being synchronized? So on switch one, show VLAN brief. We have VLANs one, 1002, three, four, and five. In other words, the default VLANs in the VLAN database. Conf T, VLAN two, we should see that VLAN added, which it has been. That shouldn't be added to switch two, so show VLAN brief. Switch two doesn't have a VLAN two in the VLAN database, that's good. But what about switch three? Show VLAN brief. We don't see a VLAN two in the VLAN database. Now think of the following analogy. VTP stands for VLAN trunking protocol. We need trunk links to send VTP advertisements. Show interface trunk shows us that switch one has no trunks configured. So interface gigabit 101, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q, switch port mode trunk. I need to have interfaces configured as trunk ports or they need to be negotiated as trunk ports for VTP advertisements to be transmitted across those ports. On this side, I'm getting inconsistent port type. So what I'll do is configure both gigabit 101 and 102 as a trunk port, set the encapsulation to dot one Q, switch port mode trunk, so I've done that on the first port. I'll do that on the second port as well. So show interface trunk, both ports on switch two are now configured as trunk ports. What about switch three? Before I configure the switch, show interface trunk, no trunk ports, so interface gigabit 101, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q, switch port mode trunk. Now you could use DTP if you prefer. In this example, I'm not doing that. In this example, I'm manually configuring the trunks. Notice, show VTP status. VTP configuration revision number 
is now one show VLAN brief. We've learnt about a VLAN two on switch three. Switch two shouldn't be learning about that VLAN because the mode is set to transparent. So show VTP status. Because the switch is configured as a transparent switch, it will forward VTP messages between the other switches, but it won't synchronize its database with the other switches. So that's good. Switch three is configured as a client, so we can't add VLANs to switch three. But on switch one, if I added another VLAN and let's say another two as well, show VTP status, VTP revision number, or configuration revision number is set to four. On switch two, it's still set to zero because the switch is not synchronizing. But on switch three, we've learnt about the additional VLANs. Show VTP status shows us that the configuration revision number is four. In other words, the switch has synchronized to switch one. Both switch one and switch three have the same number of VLANs and the same configuration revision number. If I add a VLAN to switch two, let's say VLAN 100, VLAN 101, VLAN 102, those VLANs will be in switch two's VLAN database, but they shouldn't appear in switch one's VLAN database and they shouldn't appear in switch three's VLAN database. So they don't show on switch one. What about switch three? Show VLAN brief. They also don't show on switch three. So I've successfully configured this lab. I've proven that VLANs created on switch one are replicated to switch three, but not to switch two. I've proven that I can create VLANs on switch one and switch two, but not on switch three. I've also shown you that VLANs created on switch two are not replicated to switch one or to switch three. VLANs created on switch one are replicated to switch three, but not to switch two. And that's because switch two is configured with VTP transparent mode. Last thing to do, save the configurations, but I'm happy with that the network is working as expected. So how did you do? Were you able to complete these tasks? Did you get VTP working as required? You need to know VTP for the CCNA exam.